So in today's video, we're talking about photodynamic therapy and its application as an integrative cancer therapy. Photodynamic therapy is a clinically approved, minimally invasive procedure that can exert selective cytotoxic, otherwise known as cell killing activity towards cancer cells. It involves the combination of light energy with a photosensitizing agent. These photosensitizers are activated by specific wavelengths of energy, usually in the form of a laser. This can trigger a series of effects on the immune system which help target cancer cells. The use of photodynamic therapy dates back to the 1970s. In 1978, Dr. Thomas Doherty published findings that tumors could be killed using the light to activate chemical compounds called photosensitizers. Since then, there have been over 200 different published studies and clinical trials for the use of photodynamic therapy. In its use in integrative cancer care, numerous studies have shown that photodynamic therapy can improve clinical outcomes in early stage cancer, it can prolong survival in inoperable cases, as well as significantly improve quality of life in patients, and most importantly, upregulate immune function. Photodynamic therapy can be applied in several different ways, topically, intraarticularly, or applied into the joint, intratumorally, or intravenously. Our clinic administers IV photodynamic therapy with a Weber endolaser system. The Weber endolaser system is a laser application that uses the visible light spectrum for therapeutic benefits. So the term laser is actually an acronym that stands for Light Amplification of Stimulated Emission of Radiation. There are two different types of lasers that can be used for therapeutic benefit. Those are hard lasers and soft lasers. Hard lasers are rich in energy, and the irradiation that they produce has direct physical effects, most specifically for heating tissue and for coagulation. We typically see these applied in a surgical setting. Then there are soft lasers. Soft lasers are, in, the, in fact, that they're soft. They're non-destructive and have non-thermic or non-heating effects. The Weber Endo Laser is an example of a soft laser that utilizes the visible light spectrum. Visible light can be defined as electromagnetic radiation that we can see or that is visible to the human eye. Visible light is defined as the wavelength between 400 and 700 nanometers. This is the spectrum between infrared, which are longer wavelengths, and ultraviolet light, which are shorter wavelengths. These wavelengths can be absorbed at the molecular level, most specifically by the mitochondria of our cells, affecting different components of the electron transport chain or cellular respiration within the body. The method of intravenous laser blood irradiation was first introduced as a therapy by Soviet scientists in 1981. It was originally developed for the application of cardiovascular disease. The Soviet scientists found that the application of IV laser had improved microcirculation as well as repaired the infarct that occurs after a myocardial infarction or a serious heart attack. When we apply IV laser in the setting of integrative oncology, it's important to understand how the immune system is affected with cancer patients. So cancer patients typically have a weakened or suppressed immune system. Typically, there's a dysfunction or a lack of T helper cells, T suppressor cells, and B lymphocytes. These are all key players in a healthy functioning immune system, and specifically to tag and fight cancer cells or unhealthy cell production. With the application of IV laser, as we mentioned previously, we're utilizing that visible light spectrum. So when we apply the uh, IV Weber laser for patients, there are different colors, and each of those colors have different therapeutic benefits. The red laser helps to activate ATP production, which can um, improve energy, improve circulation. It can also support neurological function, as well as improve immune defenses, most specifically upregulation of natural killer cells, T helper and T suppressor cells. The green laser has potent anti-inflammatory effects, it can be effective for treating and pre preventing infection, as well as reducing swelling or edema. 
The yellow laser can improve serotonin and vitamin D levels. By upregulating serotonin, we can help with psychological disorders such as depression. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in immune modulation and immune support, especially in cancer. So by being able to upregulate vitamin D, we can um, support that immune modulation as well as the additional benefits of uh, su being supportive to bone and connective tissue. The blue and UV laser both have significant immune enhancing effects. They can be applied for in increased and improved wound healing as well as anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial effects and most specifically they can help to improve cellular uh, perfusion and oxygen uptake which we've discussed in previous videos cancer cells do not thrive in a high oxygen environment so uh, very potent effects that we can see there with the blue and uv uh, colors with the weber endo laser system we can also apply infrared um, in that visible light spectrum however we can't see infrared Typically, this is used as a topical application, more specifically for uh, reducing pain and inflammation in patients. It also can be applied to um, um, injuries to tissue, so it can help um, increase hyaluronic acid production and collagen production. If you're interested in learning more about photodynamic therapy and its application as an integrative cancer therapy, please visit our website for more information. Thank you so much for listening.